Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Have you ever built a snowman? Well, Jenny and her friends are creating snowmen on paper. They're using shape stickers, and each friend is working on a different part of the snowman. Did you know that we can put shapes together to make brand new shapes? Let's take a look. Will is making the snowman's body. Uh, what shapes do you think he should use? Well, how about this big circle to start? Nice. Now we can put a smaller circle up on top of the big one. That's the head of the snowman. Good job helping Will. And Jenny is working on the snowman's hat. Well, let's see. Think she wants the hat to look kind of like this. So what shapes can we put together to make this hat? Well, this long rectangle might be a good start. Okay, now let's put another rectangle on top. And hey, that's a great looking hat. I think I might even wear it. But it'll be perfect for the snowman. And Chen is working on the snowman's arms. If we were outside, we might use some sticks for the arms. But let's see what shapes we can use instead. All right, we have a long, thin rectangle here. And that would be good for an arm. And what if we take a couple smaller rectangles and put them at the end here? Ha, huh, that looks good. And let's see what Latifa is up to while Chen makes the snowman's other arm. Latifa is picking out some shapes for the snowman's face. Well, the snowman definitely needs some eyes. What shapes would be good for the eyes? Well, how about these two little black circles? There you go. They look like eyes, don't they? And what about a nose? We usually make a nose out of a carrot. So what shape would be good for a nose? Well, I see an orange triangle. How about that? Let's see how it looks. Perfect. And what about a nice big smile for the snowman? Well, look, Latifa has a bunch of little black circles to make a smile. That looks great. And we have these little black squares. I wonder what we could do with those. Well, those would make great buttons. Now let's put the hat on and great. And Chen is finished with the arms. We're going to put one on each side. And wow, I think we're done. What a mighty snowman. We used circles for the body, rectangles for the hat and arms, more circles for the eyes and mouth, squares for the buttons, and a triangle for the nose. We can use shapes to make different things or even other shapes. Uh, look, for example, uh, what are these two shapes? Well, they both have three sides and three corners. That's right, they're triangles. But what if we put the two triangles together like this? What shape is it now? One, two, three, four sides, four corners. And the sides are all the same length. There are four corners, so what is it? That's right. This is a square. We made a square by putting two triangles together. Pretty cool, huh? Hmm, here are some more triangles. I wonder if you always make a square when you put two triangles together. Let's try. Okay, now we have four sides and four corners. But some sides are long and some are short. Well, this isn't a square. It must be a rectangle. So sometimes two triangles can also make a rectangle. <laughs> cool. I wonder what other shapes triangles can make. Well, here are two more triangles. And let's see. Put them together. And we can make another rectangle. What if we put them together like this instead? Wow, what shape is this now? One, two, three sides, and one, two, three corners. It's a bigger triangle. Whoa, check this out. So many different shapes. I see triangles, squares, rectangles, circles. Oh, and this shape looks like a circle cut in half. You can use those to make all sorts of shapes and pictures. I know, let's try and make a rocket ship. Okay, what shapes do we need? Well, there's a triangle at the top. Let's start with that. Okay, here's a triangle. One, two, three sides. 
and one, two, three corners. Now it looks like two triangles were put together here. And can we find two triangles that'll make a rectangle? Well, here's one, and here's another. Nice. Okay. Oh, now we need that half circle. Um, here's one, and it looks just like a circle that's been cut in the middle. And we can put that here at the bottom. And now the rocket needs to be able to blast off. So we want to find those little triangles to put at the bottom. Well, here's one. It's got three sides and three corners. Perfect. And here's another triangle with three sides and three corners. Amazing! This mighty rocket looks great. And you made it all with shapes. I wonder what other things can you make with shapes? Maybe you have some stickers or blocks in different shapes at home? Or you could cut out different shapes from paper and then draw on them with markers. Could you make a house using different shapes? What about a fish or a boat or a person? The possibilities are endless. Keep playing with different shapes and see how many different things you can make. And stay tuned for some more math videos.